What is good everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we're talking about a potential reason why you feel so squishy in expeditions after the patch. And also showing you a couple of mods that you could add into your gear to make you more tanky and get your survivability back to where it was pre-patch. So the first thing I want to touch upon is a Reddit article that I saw whilst I was scrolling through Reddit. It's by a guy called Forkle13, so shout out to you, thank you for the very useful information. And basically what the article says is, So I've been noticing I'm very squishy in several expeditions, and that my damage mitigated has been nearly non-existent even with defensive mods equipped, according to the incoming damage mitigated in stats at the end. Today that changed. In my frustration, I started trying random things to try and help, even if it seems silly. Before an expedition, I took off all of my armor and put it all back on. To my great surprise, I actually felt much better and was mitigating a noticeable amount of damage as noted in the endgame stat. Not sure if this will work for everyone, but I tested this and at least 10 different runs and then re-logged and tried to run without re-equipping my items and I was very squishy all over again. Next run, I went ahead and unequipped, then re-equipped my armor and my reasonable damage mitigation came back. So I don't know if any of you watched my stream on the day of the patch went live, but we basically did a live stream and when we started, we were doing carries. We started off with carries. We didn't really test anything. We just jumped straight in and the first map we ran into, we actually nearly all got one-shotted within about five or 10 seconds of being on the map and we were just having a really bad time now none of our builds had changed they were completely the same and then after the patch we went in and it was rough now if you do want to see that you can go on my page and see the past stream and you'll see what exactly what i'm speaking about we also had a lot of people coming into the stream that day and they were saying that they're noticeably less tanky they're taking way more damage than they used to people are getting one shot left and right myself included and everyone was just having a really bad time of the game i also personally noticed that on some expeditions, once we loaded in, the damage was fine. Other ones I would load in and I would get nearly one shot by pretty much everything, even normal rifle. And then the post goes on to say, I think my armor was literally not working until I unequipped it and then re-equipped it because I was literally mitigating at most 10% incoming damage before doing this. After using this fix, I was mitigating around 30 to 40% incoming damage consistently. Please test this out for yourself if you have been struggling with damage mitigation. I think some of the player base has not had this issue at all, but it seems like others may have. Hopefully this is as helpful to other players as it has been for me. I'm actually having a blast with the game again. It doesn't turn me into a tank god or anything, but it lets me have a chance once again. And then there's a side note that says, and then it just as a side note, it says, I did seem I had to unequip and re-equip after every single CT15 expedition on my pyro to keep everything normal. So I don't know if it has a potential for loading screens to change this, or maybe even cutscenes. I saw some people in the comments of the post saying, actually, even if you go into an expedition, everything's fine. After they've watched a cutscene during that expedition, after it, their armor's all over the place and they're just getting one shot and stuff like that again. So this could potentially be a major bug in the game. From my own personal experience, I have been noticing similar things to what he's saying in the post. It happened to me as well. And I personally haven't tried this fix because now it's been a couple days after the patch, I've actually changed some of my armor pieces and put a few more defensive mods on there and it actually does seem to be working for me for any of you that are still struggling i would really recommend trying this yourself and seeing if it does work and if it does work definitely come and leave a comment on the video and i'll probably pin your comment so other people can see it but we had literally 50 to 100 people coming to the streams people in the discord have been talking about it a lot and saying that they've just noticed that they're damaged they just take way more damage now and they're getting one tapped literally through all of their armor and everything i also noticed while i was streaming that the emergency stance mod seems to be broken right now i was getting downed and going into the down but not out state and then my golem stance was actually procking and turning on. But I was already down. So it wasn't activating when my health hit 30%. It was activating a couple of seconds after that when I was already dead. So in my personal opinion, I would say don't use emergency stance as of now. I would much prefer to use a different one. Now instead of emergency stance, the one that I would recommend the most would be mitigation from dev. What that does is every time you kill an enemy while aiming down sights, you get 45,600 points of armor for 10 seconds. And this stacks up to three times. So you get about 135,000 points of armor added on. And you can pretty much keep this up 24-7 because you should be aiming down sights when you're killing stuff anyway. Especially if you're a Technomancer. And you get it after every single kill. So every single kill you should get it and you should pretty much have the uptime 24-7. 
The second best offensive mod that I would recommend checking out would be Perseverance Shield. When your health hits 30% or below, you will receive 8,875 points of shield. And that's only on a 5 second cooldown, whereas Emergency Stance is on a 10 second cooldown. Now I have around 18,000 health for my Technomancer, so nearly 9,000 points of shield is pretty much half of my health as a shield, which is very, very nice to have. Now if you notice that you're getting one shot by crawlers and their laser beams, or you're just dying to anomaly damage quite a lot, another one you might want to look into is Circle of Power. It boosts your resistance by 15% every time you use a skill. It stacks up to three times, which of course means if you use a skill three times, you're going to have 45% resist, and that lasts every seven seconds. Now as a Techno, if you're using the Blighted Turret, Round. Now as a Techno Monster, if you're using the Blighted Round build and you're specced into the one that requires you to use your Blighted Turret, you're going to be checking out 24-7, so you're basically going to have 45% resistance all of the time. Again, if you're a Pyromancer, you're going to be spamming your skills, so that should be no problem to get that resistance up either and keep it up. And the same for Trickster and Devastator. So if you are struggling for damage or you're getting one-tapped, definitely try out those mods. They're going to help you so, so much. I'm dying way less than I was before using these. And if you notice that you're taking tons of damage and you don't know why, even with defensive mods, then definitely try the tip where you under equip and re-equip all of your armor and see if that helps you out that's going to be it for the end of the video guys as always if you like the video please drop a like it helps us get to everyone else on youtube who might not otherwise see the video whilst you're there drop a sub for me that'll be awesome if you do want to join our great community discord the link will be in the description and other than that i'll see you in the next one peace